What's going on, friends? Thank you for joining us for another Thursday night of pro wrestling pub trivia here on Quizplex. And yeah, let's just observe the sign. Let's worship the sign because I could not be uh, getting behind a more appropriate message. I mean, I love Hog02, Hug but push Ahmed Johnson. Please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but we've got some dissent. Because again, just below me, we've got a contradicting sign off a cliff. Horace, oh, no. how can you say that about Ahmed Johnson? Uh, I kid, I kid. <laughs> and a big I heart. <laughs> and a big I heart hoggo sign. Who doesn't love Plugo here at Love Wrestling? Everyone, thank you very much for joining us for some pro wrestling pub trivia. As you can see, I've got some friendly faces, some familiar faces here joining me tonight because this is indeed a championship edition of the game. First, to my side, representing Crossbody Pro Wrestling, the showrunner of CBPW Uproar, Big Venus, Ben Ortmans. How are you, friend? I'm doing wonderful. How are you, buddy? Doing very well. Thank you very much for joining us. And of course, representing the miserably faithful of the NWA, your pal Sal, Sal Renaro. Sal, how are you? Miserable and faithful. <laughs> so you're keeping uh, so you're keeping strong. You know, Sal, you're go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. I was going to say, you are actually setting a record here on Quizplex. This is your fourth appearance, and no one has uh, got that so far. So well done, sir. Put it in the accolades. Can it, when, uh, when I send in my PWI 500 accomplishments, I will make sure to add that. Hey, two-time two time champ out of three appearances so far. Will you make it three? And last but not least, of course, uh, TJ Cannon is not joining us this uh, this evening, but representing TJ, we've got the audible chocolate of LPW, Big Bad Boris. How are you, sir? I am not a champion. In fact, I'm a gigantic loser, but I'll see if I can redeem myself for, uh, for old TJ Cannon. <laughs> I like how this well, is going know, already. I, this is good. <laughs> We're vibing. We're vibing. You know, Boris was actually supposed to be part of the Halloween edition of the game in which Sal was a part of. Uh, but again, technical issues. I'm glad we were able to resolve it and you're able to be here tonight. Boris, great to see you. Uh, before we went live, Spencer told me you're a bit of a tape trader. Like you're one of the OGs in tape trading. So like you've got yes. some wealth of knowledge for you. Uh, yeah. I, I have a terrible memory. Lots of tape trading back in the day. It was a lot of fun back in the late 90s and the early 2000s, but I don't have a great memory, so I, I don't have high hope for my hope. Fair enough, fair enough. Ben, Sal, was uh, tape trading something you guys were a part of at uh, any point in your lives? No, I'm a sucker, and instead of tape trading, I just tape bought, and so I had <laughs> cases and shelves and shelves of very, very well dubbed VHS cassettes. <laughs> I, I kind of grew up in that, like, I've, I'm pretty much in the same boat as Sal, like, where I, I recorded a lot of, like, pay-per-views. I recorded every Raw I watched, so I had a lot of those, like, stacked up. But then, like, once I got into my teenage years, I found out, I found what torrent websites were, uh, and, and that pretty much became, like, the my, my stockpile of whatever, which is actually, funny enough, how I, how I found out uh, who Sal was, because I uh, watched the original Colt Cabana documentary. Ah, Yes. That's how I, I was going to do. Ironically, that's still how I do pro wrestling is on VHS tapes. It's not. <laughs> I just refuse to change to modern. It never got there. any better than that anyway. No, no. I mean, you know, you, you haven't lived until you've seen, you know, Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns shoot an angle on a nice boxed VHS. <laughs> I like to hit that tracking button just to get that's the, the right way now. God intended. <laughs> I've got to imagine that like a contemporary WrestleMania is probably like six cassettes in one box at this stage of the game. Uh, with the, with that being said, we of course uh, have another game that happens during Quizplex. Of course, not only is this pro wrestling pub trivia, but it is indeed pub trivia. So whenever my producer pops in. We are. I am encouraged to take a drink, and I'm going to mute because actually he's, he's over literally there. doing it right there. It's the setup. It's like fucking inception. That neat. It's Zach session. In spen inspension. I don't know. I there's there's some sort of play there. I'll figure that out by the end of the game. Hi guys, good to see you. Welcome back. 
Congratulations on all your wins for the two of you. Your interim champion, Boris. Thank you for joining us tonight on short notice. Nice to see you. I'm going to get Punk and Pile Drivers uploaded tonight, too, while I'm, while I'm doing all this sort of stuff. So that's it. That's all. Enjoy your beverage. Excited about this one. Give me a good one. Sorry? What the hell is a pumpkin pile driver? What the fuck is a pumpkin pile driver? You've been living under a rock? What's going on, man? <laughs> the hottest I'm, podcast I'm punk it is. And. I, punk I'm, and, not pumpkin. Pu I, oh, it's punk. Oh, my apologies. I'm a busy man. My apologies, Boris. Put your shit over. Pumpkin I want to hear. Driver, okay. Where can I find this? Find well, it actually, you can find it on Love Wrestling. <laughs> I am going to be doing my best to hit the mute whenever Spencer pops in because let me tell you, the reverb uh, that that I alone am experiencing when I hit mute is uh, it's not something I want to share with our contestants or our guests. Um, and again, speaking of, let's see who's in the comments there. Spencer, who we got joining us here on Twitch.tv. They're amazing. Shouting out Boris, the interim champion. Pluggo, of course. Ben Ortman's favorite, uh, favorite hog at Love Wrestling. Pug Pumpkin Pile Drivers is our October edition of the Punk and Pile Drivers content uh, pod. I dig it. I dig it. I just Absolutely. thought we were making Billy Corgan references. I was, I was all in. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you know, you work shoulder to shoulder with the guy, don't you? Yeah, it's cool. Uh, that being said, for Kyle Davis, let me plug Thirty Three Podcast. I don't know any of the other information. <laughs> I just little callback. You know what? On that subject, I don't want to like uh, get too far off track because we do have some a pro wrestling pub trivia to get to. But again, the World is a Vampire event uh, happening, uh, like cross promotion with uh, Triple A is around the corner, is it not? Yes, yes, yes. Going to uh, Mexico City uh, for for NWA versus Triple A. Uh, beyond stoked for that. Uh, this is this is going to be really cool. And uh, since we're all friends here and it's it's a private meeting, I will say. Uh, I'm currently working on a Max Moon-esque style uh, gear because I figured if I was going to Mexico, I should represent Mexico's greatest export, uh, the one and only Ma Maximilian Moon. That is absolutely out. Standing, Sal, you've had some fantastic years in the past. One that comes to mind is uh, it was at one of the NWA anniversary events. You were repping as many NWA champions as possible. Yes, I am yes. stoked for some Max Moon uh, representation at uh, World is a Vampire. Can't wait to see that. I uh, like this guy. <laughs> Max, you're the fucking man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> An exclusive indeed, Justin. Oh, oh, dare amazing! Do not bring up headlock on my heart. It is no. Let's dead. Let's stop beating the dead horse <laughs> and let's get in to. <laughs> Sal knows what we're talking about. Absolutely. Oh, let's get into some pro wrestling trivia. And again, you guys are familiar with how this game is played, but let's refresh our memories. Each player is going to have the opportunity to answer two pro wrestling related questions. They will have ten seconds to verbally answer to the question each of their questions if they get their first question right we will move immediately to their second question while the active player is answering their question the other players may also answer the same question on their whiteboard or their paper if the active player gets their question wrong the other contestants can be awarded half points if the answer on their whiteboards is correct round one correct answers for the active player are worth 100 points correct answers stolen from the active player are worth 50 points spencer do you have like something to score keep over there do you need pen and paper Got my phone. excellent we are good to go with quiz flex <laughs> championship edition Got his phone. he's got his phone indeed again like uh he, he this guy is right off the plane like i just went and picked him up in the airport and we jumped right into the uh, right into quizplex so i you know wouldn't have blamed him if he was not prepared but again well no we jumped into a beer too first <laughs> yeah that's true that's true we certainly did with that let's play quizplex i'm looking at the top of the screen ben you are going first Again, last month, uh, there was apparently the Canadian conspiracy. I cannot help you this time. So please do not look for the Canadian conspiracy favors this, this round. No, no, no. It's okay. We've already discussed this earlier today. I'm about to go on my Roman run here uh, and acknowledge <laughs> Venus. Acknowledge Venus. 
<laughs> no. I saw you type it several times, but hearing it out loud just makes it great. Your first question of round one. Which member of Evolution did Carlito not wrestle at an Unforgiven pay-per-view event? Even if you don't know it, you got a one in four chance. Unless you count Batista. Mark, Mark Jindrak. I was Batista. about to say Jindrak has to count, technically, right? <laughs> no, again, we're not, we're not counting Jindrak, but in, indeed, Batista is the correct answer. So well done, sir. 100 points for you on the board. Uh, your second question. Sorry, Spencer, I should be on questions. Uh, I've lost track. You produce everything else, including uh, and whatnot. Don't worry, I got it. Best producer in the streaming phone. game. He's got his phone. <laughs> your second question, Ben. Uh, who was uh, the final Lucha Underground champion? Oh. Um, that first season is one of my favorite runs of wrestling programming. Wasn't it? Rico uh, was it Ricochet? Uh, the Puma. Puma. I'm afraid yeah, Prince Puma. Puma was not the, the yeah. last. I'm afraid that's not the correct answer. He was not the last uh, Lucha Underground champion. Sal, Boris, do you have anything on your whiteboards? We've got Mil Muertes. Boris, you don't have anything. Uh, no correct answers for this one. The correct answer. Dude, I have no idea. What oh, the that's really? Right. Yeah, Jake Hager went known was known as Jake, Jake Strong. Strong at the time when he held uh, held the belt. But still, Venus, you're All 100 right. points on the board. That's a that's a very strong start. We're moving on to Sal. You ready, Sal? Born ready. He's the only <laughs> big guy not on the show, by the way. You got Big Ben, you've got Big Boris. Yeah, I'm, I'm not big at all. I'm small <laughs> Sal. Yeah. That's rude. That, can we can't do that? That's not nice. Well, Super that Sal. Is pretty accurate. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's Big Sal tonight. Can we change his name to Big Sal just for this? There, I right. actually I met do. Big Sal from ECW forever ago. And, yeah. uh, yeah, he was not a fan of me using Big the Sal name Graciano. Sal until I showed him my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> so, Did you know he changed names on this? I noticed that you changed his name, but uh, like you should honor Sal's game, uh, Sal's up uh, persona and do, spell it backwards, yeah, though. At least do it backwards. Come on, I've got one thing going yeah. for me, and, and I promise you, it's not. <laughs> it's it's, it's not my size, size, clearly. Yeah, we can't call him Big Lass. That's just rude. No, it, yeah. Well, I'm more last than I am any of it, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, boy. Well, again, if this game goes well, you're also going to have Quizplex champion three time going for you. And let's see if we can get you off to a strong start. Your question right. in round one, who Jim is the Ross. only person to comment to? <laughs> what are we doing here? I what knew, I, doing? Good I old, knew I could good count old Jimothy. on a Good old Jimothy. See, when we were uh, drafting these questions, I thought that we could add all out, and but I thought that would make it too easy. But the fact that you got it before I named the other two yeah. events, well done, sir. Well done. Uh, your second question. Wow, we're just flying through that one. Uh, hey, how's your uh, knowledge of Canadian TV, Sal? <laughs> oh, wow. Not, not existent at all. I don't really watch TV. <laughs> I ever. feel so ripped off by not having this question. Well, again, you could steal it if uh, Sal gets this question wrong on the Canadian TV series, The Trailer Park Boys. What was the name of Bubbles' wrestling persona? Oh, heavens. Uh, I mean, this is just me. Don't show it yet. Knowing. Don't show it yet, Ben. Uh, I mean, uh, Ahmed Johnson's probably <laughs> the best answer I'm going to come up with. So I'm, I'm going to go with Ahmed Johnson. Chaos point. Chaos point. Yeah, let's give you a chaos point for that one. <laughs> one right. single point, but I'm afraid Ahmed Johnson is not the correct answer. Dang ben, it. you got it on your board. You're ready to show it off. The green bastard. That's oh, absolutely wow. correct. I, I I mean, I didn't consult Boris, but he didn't look like uh, like he was scribbling anything during that. Yeah, don't consult Boris. Who gives a shit about that guy anyway? <laughs> well, look, no, do you have it on your board? I like Boris. No, I don't have it on my board. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Hey, there he is from Parts Unknown, the Green Bastard. 
Dude, you pulled that up fast. Well done. Thank you. I'm a good producer. Yep. Usually, usually <laughs> I take a drink when he pops in, but I think I'll just say it when he throws the, the nonverbals from off screen. Uh, yes, Boris, sir. we yep. got two questions for you, sir. And they're themed. Uh, you know, there's a big WWE event happening this weekend. So uh, hope your Elimination Chamber history is astute here. Who won the very first Elimination Chamber match? Oh, I'm tossing around two names. And my gut says Ron Van Dam. My brain says Triple H. I'm going to go Triple H. I'm afraid Triple H is not the correct answer. Ben, Sal, show me what you have on your whiteboards. We got HBK, Shawn Michaels with awful gear. <laughs> oh, was that the Brown? You know what? Sal deserves 10 extra points. <laughs> well, you know what? Accurate. Hold off. Hold off on that because we, again, like I said, there's a theme for both of the, these questions. Um, Boris, awful your gear? second question. Yeah. Oh. What was the color of Shawn Michaels' gear in the elimination That's chamber? That's a horrible brown Pants? That's a whole bunch, right? <laughs> yep. A highly unflattering brown. <laughs> well, the 17 God. minute mark. There's our question. Very There's our nice. highlight for tonight. Well, <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better a better uh sequitur there, so oh, yes. yes. You're welcome. You, you, Good stuff. He's, he's, he's got a phone. A highly <laughs> unflattering brown. I didn't even see that part. It was terrible. It was terrible. terrible. It was so uh, disappointing. Uh, I love that you capitalized brown. It just makes it look that much more harsh. Holy shit. It's a highly unflattering brown. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, well, again, I had to, like, uh, <laughs> like, I always put the answer in caps lock. And again, the highly unflattering was my own editorialization. So I didn't feel right capitalizing that. So that's the story about that one. But oh, that was perfect. That was absolutely perfect. Um, couldn't ask for a better conclusion to round <laughs> one. Uh, but I will invite our producer to pop back in. I'm going to mute my mic and uh, let us know what the scoreboard looks like. Spencer. That's me. It's a tight game, friends. Big Bad Boris was gifted a cool 100 points at the hey, end I there. knew the highly unflattering Brown. I'm sure <laughs> everybody did, but even if you didn't, you do now. Big Bad Boris sitting in third place with 100 points. Big Bad Venus sitting in second place with 150. And the chaos point from our pal Sal. Puts him in the lead at 151 points. Ahmed Johnson comes through. Powerful. Well <laughs> done, gentlemen. You okay there? He's like having a coughing yeah. fit over there. I'm laughing very hard. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, he is going to survive Eric Andre. Voice. What if it's Brown? I don't know Eric Andre so uh, well enough to even take a stab at that voice. Uh, <laughs> With that, we're going to jump into a short commercial break, but also we want to thank the good people who keep the lights on here at Love Wrestling. I'm going to start with the good people at RK Athletics, one half of the LPW Tag Team Champions, Rich King. If you're in the Edmonton area and you need a personal fitness trainer, Rich King is the person to speak to. Uh, you know, And if you're not, that's okay. He's got a great website with a whole bunch of online resources at rkathletics.ca. So if you're in Edmonton, you're looking for a personal trainer, reach out at that website. Or, you know, he's very personable. You can do it uh, via Twitter. Twitter or Instagram on the DMs, uh, RK Athletics One. Start chasing your dreams at, with RK Athletics. Spencer, thank you very much for filming that. We are going to be back with uh, uh, the second round of Quizplex in just a short moment. For your performance review. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I regret that slipping from my lips, but I was not expecting. Right. Is that Suzuki? Yeah, that's Suzuki. There is someone I would like on Quizplex. Did you change shirts, Ben? You're muted. Nope, I had this on the whole time. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, the Suzuki the Suzuki cameo uh, popped for me big time. I just uh, I just saw Raven at TV. 
No, Sunday not Raven. Evening. Maven, brother. Oh, even better. <laughs> I didn't see I didn't see Maven there, but man, I wish I did. I would have sang that thing to him all night. <laughs> I can just picture you like following him around, possibly playing a lute. Uh, yep. just <laughs> I feel like this was worth it just for that. <laughs> oh, huge pop, huge pop. That Minoru Suzuki figure uh, very much startled me. Oh boy, Boris, how are you feeling heading into round two? Uh, again, you're 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 tailing the leaderboard. I'm ready for the big comeback. Excellent, excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, again, round two. <laughs> that is what she said. Uh, again, round two, very much the same style of gameplay, but what's different is the scoreboard because correct answers for the active player are worth 200 points and correct answers for the questions stolen from the active player are worth 100 points. Fuck. Oh, there it is. Yes. <sighs> what Kyle. is Spencer trying to accomplish over there? I'm little Do you want to host... Do you want to host this? Do you want to host this? Because, like, again, I can just leave you to take care of this all by yourself. Matthew yeah. Perry. Get back we're on. We've got a time on it. No, you, you can take care We've of this. We've got a time on it. We've got a time on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Run it. No. Okay. 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 I was going to, you know, have words with Spencer, but Matthew Perry is uh, is here, and I need to do something about that. Could I be <laughs> any worse at quiz play? <laughs> <laughs> oh boris for uh boris bing big bad boris bing all right uh yeah, there's yeah, still there's still the opportunity for the comeback here let's get started your first question in round two right. what was paul bear's line of work prior to working in he wrestling was actually a, um, he was a shoot mortician he was a shoot mortician well done sir that puts you uh that gives you some points there um your second question how's your south park knowledge jesus christ oh terrible <laughs> okay well here we go uh in south park oh yeah let me let, let me let me read it the rock okay okay, Sorry. okay. Sorry. No, no, no. I will read the question. Uh, but South Park's 2009 episode of WTF, the boys are inspired to start their own pro wrestling league after watching two WWE wrestlers perform. Name <laughs> one of them. Now, again, 2009. That's the clue there. Oh, Lord. Um, see, I didn't watch South Park. I don't know anything about South Park. Want to take a guess? Nothing. No? Okay. I said okay. The Rock. We're the effort. I'm afraid the Okay. I'm afraid The Rock is not one of the correct answers. Venus, Sal, what do you have on your boards? You've got Edge and Cena, John Cena and Randy Orton. You're both going to get uh, get uh, the stolen points because I said name one of them. It was Edge and John Cena. So well done the both of you. But you know what? Ben got both of them. So let's give uh, Ben one chaos point. Hey, yes. I'll take it. Everybody gets one. All right. Like Spider-Man? <laughs> Spider-Man says. Just like Spider-Man. <laughs> ben, let's get you started on round two. All right. Here we go. Uh, no, you skipped one, Spence. Oh, well, that's, if that works. Yeah, that's true. We can just, do, we can just go back because he has Let two questions. <laughs> Uh, when Dennis Rodman joined the NWO, he would team with Hulk Hogan Carl to Malone. take on. Well, there you go. Take on DDP and what other basketball star? Indeed, Carl Malone. So there's some points for you on the board. Your second question for round two. Uh, what move appeared dozens, if not hundreds, of times on Chris Jericho's? <laughs> <laughs> took off the headset and I could I still this hear was you. That's wrestling trivia, not South Park trivia. That wasn't South Park. Hey, you even added the exclamation mark, so I feel better about yelling that. So thank you, thank you. Well, <laughs> I added the question. The, I added the exclamation mark, so I'm going to give myself one chaos point. Thank you, you very much, it. Ben. Well done. You well done. <laughs> Boris is claiming fix. Come on, man. I am doing my best here. 
trying to be impartial. Dude, okay, it's the Maven shirt. It's good point. luck, brother. <laughs> Spencer, sorry, what was that? The promoter over here putting himself over. <laughs> a point. Uh, well, you know, got to book myself to go over, brother, brother. Sal, the point leader heading into round two. Uh, let's no see pressure. what's no pressure whatsoever. This one's a tough one, I think, because like I, I didn't know any of the, these. Name three women who are official, uh, officially members of the NWO. All right, I know one immediately, so let me work backwards from her. Um, mm, that is that is a bit tough. Uh, Tori Wilson was with David Flair during the revival after the finger poke of doom. So I'm going to say Tori. Um, obviously every, every eighties wrestling fans, first crush, uh, the love of my life. Uh, and just, I mean, just a, a princess of a woman, uh, Miss Elizabeth. Number three, wow, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember the bad NWOs, like the That's WWE the ones and Warmer. the 2000s, but, uh, oh, let's see. Flair. I'm going to give you another uh, 10 seconds there. Yes. Oh, this is, this is unpleasant. I am going to say out of a lack of human beings that are coming to my brain stacy keebler i'm afraid stacy keebler yeah. was not a member of the nwo uh but what do we got we've got woman elizabeth and major guns uh boris what do you got no she wasn't a member of the nwo Chanel at the time uh, no, no. <clears throat> well who, who else do you who Boris, who else do you have? Uh, your sign was a little skew there. I had I had Elizabeth on there as well. Okay, okay. I had um, Elizabeth on there as well. Gotcha. I'm afraid no points on that one, actually. Uh, Miss Elizabeth and Tori Wilson, indeed. Major guns as well. Oh. Uh, but also Steiner's uh, Steiner's ladies, Pamela Paul Shock, April Hunter, and Medija. Yeah. Was woman woman wasn't in there? I don't believe woman was. Uh, Spencer, do you want to take like, like a no, moment to do a quick little research? I feel like she was Stop. like one of Macho's arm. No, team. that was that was Mona Medusa and uh, and uh, uh, well, Gorgeous I, George. Yes. Oh, that just came back to me. Medusa was with Steiner as well. Yeah, Medusa was with Steiner as yeah. well. Uh, Interesting. Uh, woman, woman was not was with Ron and Valentine, but I know she was with him. Uh, a valiant effort by all parties, but I'm afraid yes. no points were awarded by that question. Again, that was a tough one. Yeah, I'm thank you, thank honest. you. I forgot Pamela Polshock was a human. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say it, but yes. <laughs> from from another planet. From another planet, yeah. indeed. Um, Sal, your final question for round two. Let's take a look. Who are the four cover stars of the Nintendo 64 game WCW NWO Revenge? You're ready for this. You're so ready for I, this. I, 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 uh, I know. Payoff here. Raven. I was just, I see, I was just, it's storytelling, guys. <laughs> you confuse <laughs> Raven for Raven because you know the punchline's coming later. Uh, Raven. Goldberg, DDP, and Hogan. Oh boy, you are so close, but I'm oh, afraid that is no. you're, you're off by one. I won't say who, of course, it, but it's Hogan, isn't it? Curses. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. Uh, Boris, Ben, Team Big, what do you got? I'm looking. I, I can see it. Got Goldberg, Sting, Nash. Uh, what do you have at the bottom, Boris? I, I had Goldberg, Sting, Nash, and Raven. Okay. But I think I have Boris, my games uh, mixed up. And Ben? Goldberg, Raven, DDP, Sting. I'm afraid no points on this one either. The correct I, answer. 
We kind of had a representative from each faction and brand. Ah. Goldberg, Nash, Raven, Hollywood, Hulk Hogan. A valiant effort on that one as well. Absolutely. I'm glad you you jumped in with the Raven one because the uh, Raven on the front cover, that blew my mind. Uh, blew, I don't know, 13-year-old Zach's mind when he was on the cover. Not only that, but also wearing a Sandman comic uh, on his shirt. So Huge do you know the story behind that? Because there's actually a really funny story on how he got the cover of that. Uh, please. So the guy that was designing the cover he had free reign and was just a huge Raven mark and literally, <laughs> and literally was just like, Hey man, I'll put you on the cover of the game. And he's just like, no, you won't. And he's like, yeah. And then he did. And then Ra he's, I think Raven said it was like one of the biggest paydays of his fucking career up until that point, just because the dude was a fan. That's too That's funny. The only, there's no other reason for that whatsoever. There was no storyline purpose. There was nothing. Not clearly. Was just, yeah. <laughs> What's really funny is like, if you look at the cover, Hopefully Spencer, nice I don't know if you can pull it up quick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, you see Goldberg, you see Nash, you see Hogan. They're all looking, like, very heated and pointing at each other, ready to fight. And Raven's, like, breaking the fourth wall. He's just looking in the camera, just, like, completely disinterested. He's just completely gone and vacant. It's a... Uh... Maybe get a ring jacket. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't appropriate. <laughs> Well done on uh, on that front. Again, I put Spencer to a task, so I feel bad about inviting him to uh, to share the scoreboard. Uh, but so while he does that, actually, let me just uh, talk a little bit about our other sponsors, the good people at Manscaped.com, because support for Ma Love Red. Wrestling is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers my favorite line in copy from ads. Precision tools for your family jewels. We've got a great promotion here. If you enter love wrestling at manscaped.com, you're not only going to get 20% uh, off your order, no matter what it is, you're going to get free worldwide shipping. And again, if you're from Canada, I, we cannot oversell the value of free worldwide shipping. One of the best things that's can, that you can get in online shopping. Uh, so again, shave your balls. Uh, with manscaped.com and that was about as crass as a final line for crass. a copy read i could get ben nothing I was, that's my acknowledged penis sign when you said that <laughs> <laughs> there it is there it is look at him they're all ready to fight and it's the best goddamn wrestling video game of all time that's cool not unfair not unfair, not unfair. Not unfair. Not unfair. and again Raven wearing the Sandman, one of my favorite comics of all time. Great shit right there. Uh, Spencer, what's the scoreboard looking like? There must have been a turnaround there. There was quite the turnaround, Zach. Uh, in fourth place, you with one point, one chaos point for old Zach. Congratulations. Proud of you. Finishing in third place right now. Quite the turnaround for Sal the Pal sitting in third with 251 points. Brutal. Big Bad Boris is sitting at a solid 300. Big Ben, you're running away with this one right now, my friend. 651 on the board for you. Nicely done. I Nicely am. done. Thank you very much. I'm glad this is finally getting used somewhere. <laughs> Well done, all parties. Sal, I'm going to be honest, man. I expect whenever I have you here, I'm expecting you to run away with the board. What's happening tonight? I know, I know. He's, he's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely understand that. But again, on the bright side, you're going to get the easiest question out of uh, in round all three. Because right. again, we're going uh, in very some very tricky questions. I think with the uh, with the leader taking probably the hardest question we've ever asked here on Quizplex. Ben, does that intimidate fuck? you? Hey, you're you're winning. Why are you gonna pick on me because you're right. winning. You gotta you gotta That's, be ready for this. I blame Madeja. <laughs> Damn you, Pamela Parshak. Damn, every time. Every time. <laughs> with, that, with that, we're going to go to one more commercial break before we get to the thrilling third conclusive round of this championship edition of Quizplex. We will be right back. And with that, 
dramatic turns of events on the leaderboard as we head into the third and final round of Quizplex. Uh, Boris, again, like you've you've been moving up the rankings. You went from third place at the end of round one, second place at the end of round two. How are you feeling? Do you think you can really turn this uh, turn uh, the game around? I think these are going to be some rough questions, so I'm hoping there's something in my power, Ali, if I even have one. <laughs> yeah, here we go. It's going to be very, very tough. Sal, again, how are you feeling, my friend? Well, I, I know Ricky Morton pretty well, and he's told me a thing or two about a babyface comeback. So let's see, uh, let's see <laughs> if I can do one for old Ricky. For Ricky. And, again, the present leader, uh, uh, the leader of the scoreboard, Mr. I Heart Maven himself, Ben. Yep. yep. I uh, I feel a little bullied uh, at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. Um, <sighs> I I tweeted Paro to let him know that you're a fucking bully, and uh, <sighs> I just want to let you know that he immediately liked it. <laughs> so this is some bullshit, and we're already calling conspiracy. So yeah, you wow. have fun with your question calling ability, sir. Hey, just for the record, again, you benefited from my alleged conspiracy at the very last game. I was just game. very good that day, Zach. <laughs> so why was there a conspiracy in that last game? Why was I being thrown under the bus? Paro thought there was one. I didn't say nothing. You I encouraged him. Only, you I encouraged him. I'm encouraging him now because you're doing it to me. So I now I understand. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm ask glad your I ask fucking silly questions while you ask me fucking Vince's bank account or whatever the fuck. Eight four two. <laughs> oh well, again, if Sal knows it, man, like forget it. We're all winners, and we're all going uh, to <laughs> Rio tomorrow morning. Uh, but we do have proper quizplex to get into, and I'm afraid Vince's bank account is not the prize. Um, again, bit of a different gameplay for this final round. You're all going to get one question and correct answers for the active player are worth 500 points. Correct answers for the questions stolen from the active player are worth 250. Again, lots of opportunity to turn this game around. Sal, are you ready? Let's go. Boris, are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Easy and Venus, are you ready? Of course. Excellent. An enthusiastic third round. Let's do this. Sal, I want you to name two wrestlers who have appeared in both the WWE and the Sharknado franchise. Okay, well, obviously, uh, a good friend of mine, Seth Rollins, is number one. Man, I don't watch TV. Uh only reason I know Rollins is because he told me. I didn't know what a Sharknado was. He thought it was a big deal. <laughs> uh, let's see. Got to be a crossover guy, but I'm feeling like it's a legend of some sort. Um, man. Sharknado. That was early 2000s. I don't know uh, why my probably importance... 2010s. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that 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 part of the early, the early 2010s. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Man, CTE is real, guys. Just, <laughs> just so you know. Um, Big dots from Ben. I'm going to go with Rollins. My heart says Sergeant Slaughter or Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I think that's just because my heart always says. Sergeant Slaughter and Hacksaw Jim Duggan, no matter what. Uh, so I'm going to go Rollins, and I'm going to go I'm, curveball. I'm going to go Randy Orton. Uh, I, I'm afraid ah. you will not be awarded points for this one. A worthy effort, but I want to see Boris, and I want to see Ben's boards. We've got Seth and Jericho. We've got Jericho. Uh, Boris, are you added another name there? Well, he said Seth, which I know is right. Sorry, I should have been more clear. No, nope. no, fair enough, fair enough. I can give both of you points there. Chris Jericho, John Hennigan, Kurt Angle, <laughs> Seth Rollins, and Maurice. Wow. What a star-studded... <laughs> wow. 
I was happy to learn that Seth Rollins was a part of this franchise when I was doing a bit of research for Quizplex because, again, I knew about Jericho and I knew about Maurice, but uh, Seth Rollins was the the big surprise name on that. He was he was proud of uh, sharing his his. Oh, uh, he was super stoked! I got the dude. I'm doing Sharknado text. Responded. <laughs> responded with i don't know what that means but happy for you friend <laughs> watch your toes and then oh, he explained it to me and i was mad at him for explaining it to me <laughs> <laughs> if you ever need a good laugh a good cheap laugh from an action movie i would say the sharknado franchise could be a way to go Fair uh, why, are you, why are you trying to force me to make you me be happy for you about this <laughs> this is some bullshit thing to do as a friend <laughs> he was really yeah, well, whatever, dude. Go, yeah, go, pretty dope, though. go main event in WrestleMania or something. Get out of my face with shark talk. <laughs> Forget main eventing WrestleMania. He yeah. was in Sharknado 5. Yeah. Again, Sal. Five. Oh my God. There's five of those there things. I think, I, think, I think there was five. <laughs> Holy balls. There's six. Spencer says there's six. Get the Sharknado fuck out of here. Movies. I was. I, I wouldn't have expected that either. Hey, if there could oh, be wait. five Jurassic Parks, there could be five Sharknado. There are six Jurassic Parks, and I do not advise <laughs> watching the sixth movie. The sixth one is entitled The Last Sharknado. It's about time. <laughs> the Last Sharknado. Even, it's even they do. And they literally <laughs> time travel. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> and they literally time travel. <laughs> they time travel. Okay, I know we're watching after quiz. Flex Spencer. Uh, Boris, your question in the third and final round. Let's see if we can add some more points right. onto your score. Here's oh. a tough one. What name did Lita use in the original ECW? That's Miss Congeniality. Miss Congeniality, yes, sir. Sorry, that came up ignorant uh, now, or arrogant. I didn't mean to be arrogant, but yeah, Miss Congeniality is the answer. She got spanked by uh, Kenny Stitch. Really? Yes. Can, uh, I have a different answer. I'm going to get Spencer to do a. Uh oh. What do you have? Quick little bit of research. I thought it was Miss Congeniality. Yeah, too. I was positive that's exactly what it is. What do you have, Zach? Okay. Okay, well, I'll say so because we have three Miss Congeniality here. Miss Congeniality 2 is a Sandra Bullock movie. Also <laughs> true, but. This fucking guy. Uh, she well, also because got everyone. By Tammy Sitch. It was real weird. We can get points. Yeah. <laughs> That was. I, I, I will. I will accept Miss Congeniality. Okay, fair What's enough. The, uh, the answer, that? the answer I found was uh, Angelica. Um, but, but again, Spencer has verified Miss Congeniality is certainly a name that uh, she used in the original ECW brand. So, uh, Boris, those points are yours because uh, you were. Yeah, you pulled it up. And that brings us to Ben. Oh, ben. <laughs> again. Dude, this is a very difficult question. And again, I'm glad that you got some points stolen during this round because I do not envy anyone on the receiving end of this question. Um, so here we go. In what movie did Mildred Burke serve as technical advisor for the pro wrestling scene and also appear in the opening sequence? <laughs> I know Ben's the active player, but okay. Sal's face was just brilliant there. Oh man, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Can you I'll say nineteen eighty back up again? I need to reread that. Uh, what is Pablo, been, that wouldn't be a lot been, of points, brother. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's pull that question. Yeah, pull the question. Okay. Um, oh, I'll we'll save the year as well. Nineteen eighty-one. If that helps oh. anyone. Oh, what is the name of that movie? Okay. This is a probably wrong, but I have no fucking idea, but I'm just going to throw this out there. Was it Roadhouse? No, it was, it was not Roadhouse. It was not Roadhouse. This question would have gravitated towards Terry Funk if it was, a, if it was indeed a Roadhouse question. Uh, Sal, I, I see you digging deep, friend. I see you looking for the answer here. 
Yes, and I, I cannot think of the name of this movie. I'm the worst when it comes to movies and names and Some anything really question. outside of pro wrestling nonsense. Uh, this is an oh. Arkham City question. What the fuck kind of shit is this? Sorry? Is it is it about time travel or am I thinking of a different movie? That's Sharknado. I'm a... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid Sorry, I actually don't know what this movie is about. Yeah, I'm out. Uh, I will. Uh, Boris, I got no is that Sharknado 6? The correct answer is a movie called All of the Marbles. Oh, 1981. The what was the movie the that had world-class stuff? I, I, um, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. That's nailed it. Spencer, deduct <laughs> whatever show you pay. It. Deduct this from his check. This is awesome. fucking bullshit. <laughs> you probably consider it done. Thank no, you. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Absolutely not. Um, well, that was a very controversial, if not <laughs> anticlimactic third question. round. <laughs> that had nothing. It was a wrestling question. You know who Mildred Burke is, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. I stick to my original statement. Oh, God. Oh, oh boy. Um, well, can't wait to tell Pharaoh how much that, you're fucking bully. I don't envy you on I that. Am not a, guys, bully. I just an wanted a tough Canadian question. Bully this week. Wow. Because I'm from Ontario. Well, this is how you Montreal people really feel about me. I don't think that I don't know your fucking agenda. I've been there. Well, let's take a look at the scoreboard and see how much I hate Ben. Spencer, <laughs> why don't you pop on in and uh, tell us who won this game of Quizplex. Wow. Wow, you hate Ben. Like, you hate him so much. He was winning, and then he didn't win, and it's because you hate him. It's entirely because you hate him. Uh, in fourth place, still you. Congratulations, Zach, on your fourth place finish in a three-player game. In third place, Sal the Pal. 250 wins. After, uh, after taking a bit of a tough one in the final round there, Big Ben. Of course, Ontario zone. Zach knows. Finishing with 901 points. And your Quizplex champion on an hour of notice. Big Bad wow. Boris. With so what you're saying is I... 50 points, my friend. So I'm walking away with all the marbles. Wow. I was... More points. Give him more I'll points. One, to... <laughs> one chaos point. One chaos point. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, thank you, guys. That was a lot of fun. Well, again, uh, Boris, it's uh, it's part of tradition. We have to get a speech from you. Well, I speech have to, from the winner. I'd like to thank the most random question in the history of Quizplex. I, I I feel your pain, Ben, because that was a bit of a bitch. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I like doing this kind of stuff, and usually my memory recall is not that good, so I'm uh, I'm pretty happy. Well done, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> well, all this. Same. Congratulations on your win here on Quizplex. Uh, <laughs> absolute. No, Venus was screwed. Oh boy, I'm not going to live this down for a little while. Um, yeah. <laughs> God. Wait, uh, when will uh, Dara? Yeah, uh, Dara gets half of a chaos point because uh, Dara can't overtake me on the leaderboard. Uh, take away Zach's chaos point. That's probably also fair. Ben, uh, come on, man. And you were leading. I had to give you the hardest one. I packed my biggest <laughs> suitcase. Don't worry. First you, first you bullied Sal and making him having to fucking relive Seth trying to tell him about Sharknado. Yeah, then you come tough. at me and you try and tough. bully me with this fucking bullshit. And you take my win How away from I me. I had an acknowledged Venus shirt ready to fucking go. You were going to do... This is why you fucking bully Because you didn't want to do the fucking artwork. This is fucking bullshit. I feel like I'm being Tanya uh, right now. Boris, I'm going to let you finish. 
<laughs> ah, fucking finish. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. You're the only one well, he's not Fred's picking again. on. Fucking have at her. <laughs> he hasn't won a game of of quizplex. It didn't feel right, like uh, like punching down oh, like that. So we just give wins away in wrestling. That's what we do. We didn't give anything fucking, away. What are you doing to the business, Zach? Jesus Telling Christ! Up. Well, you know what we're doing dead. now. Fucking guy. <laughs> Well, you know what we're doing now. We are going to wrap things up. We're going to get ready to raid our friends over on Twitch. It's probably going to be it's going to be Puff, uh, our good friend Puff. I, uh, ben, I know you work with uh, with Puff on occasion, uh, so yeah, we're going to raid. Ass in Montreal, it was great. Hey Zach, can I give a quick <laughs> plug as part of my speech? Yes, please do. Uh, tomorrow morning, the new episode of Punk and Pile Drivers, or Pumpkin Pile Drivers, depending who you ask. Uh, is going to drop. My guest is uh, the struggles commentator from ICW No Holds Barred and uh, promoter of ETU. That's going to be out on the LPW Podcast Network tomorrow morning. So uh, it was a lot of fun to chat with him. So I hope everybody checks it out. That's it. Awesome. Very, very cool. And where can the audience follow you on social media, Boris? Uh, at BB Boris. Marvelous. Marvelous. On the Twitter machine. Sal- BB Boris one on Instagram. Marvelous, marvelous. Sal the Pal, what's going on in your world? What can you plug right now? Yeah, March 4th, uh, World is a Vampire, uh, AAA versus NWA, Mexico City. Then April 7th, NWA returns to pay-per-view, uh, whatever the Chicago area code is. <laughs> I'm really bad at plugging stuff. Uh, I think it's three, 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 one, two. Three, one, two sounds right. April 7th. Good, just whatever the NWA pay per view is, order it. Uh, uh, if the stories I was told by a certain pumpkin man are true, I should have a uh, very, very cool spot on that. Uh, April 7th, uh, 33. It's a podcast with my boss and my friend Kyle Davis that he pays me money to uh, promote for him because he's far too lazy to do it himself. And, uh, Go to my go to my uh, pro wrestling tea store. Uh, buy all the teas, all of them, every all the teas, all the teas, one of them, all the teas, <laughs> in all sizes. And Ben, if you can put away your heat with me for just a second and promote all your good shit that's happening in Big Benis's world, what's up, bud? Well, we got. Crossbody Pro Wrestling Uproar every single Wednesday on YouTube now, 7 p.m., youtube.com slash Crossbody Pro Wrestling Academy. Uh, it's a brand new weekly episodic Canadian wrestling show. Uh, we are we just had our sixth episode last night that aired. Um, and then uh, this weekend, we are filming episodes seven and eight. And then uh, on Saturday, we are filming Family Day Feud 5, which is... Uh, one of our larger shows, and uh, I can announce here that we'll be showing that uh, on P- uh, sorry on YouTube rather uh, on March the fourth at two p.m. on our YouTube channel is when it'll debut. Uh, it'll debut the Saturday after uh, the episode that we air or sorry that we film on Friday. So uh, hopefully that all made sense. Um, otherwise, uh, I have no wrestling dates to promote right now because I currently have uh, no dates booked. Uh, however, I do wish to promote, uh, I hope that Spencer steals everything from your house. Yes. Yes. I'll sign off. <laughs> yeah. Bring me something nice, Spencer. Uh, if you want to bring you something nice, bank he's in his life house. savings and just take that shit and buy all the boys poutine. <laughs> my piggy bank and my life savings. That's a very redundant se- sentence, my friend. Uh, with <laughs> that's why I said buy the boys poutine. Fuck, poking the bear. (laughs) Friends, thank you very much for being a part of Quizplex this evening, this Thursday. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter, smartmouth, smartmouth on Instagram. Uh, Stay tuned here on Love Wrestling because, of course, LPW 12 Streets Ahead (laughs) is happening next Friday, main evented by Zoe Sager, defending the Grand Championship. Again, Boris will be on commentary against uh, Zoe Sager versus... This is Stephen Crow for the LPW Grand Championship. And with that, we are going to say goodbye. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, Boris. Thank you, Ben, for being part of Peace. Quizplex. It's always a blast to chat with you guys. And we will be rating Puff the Wrestler in just a moment. Thank you very much for joining us. Till next time, friends. I was Rob. <laughs> <laughs>